Tracking changes to form controls in Angular can be done by using the value changes method on the abstract control class, which is the base class for the three fundamental blocks for Angular form data representation, the control, control group, and control array. The value changes method returns an observable that you can subscribe to and get change updates as they are pushed. This means that to see when the user is changing the value of the form fields, even down to the individual keystrokes in a text field, you don't even need any plumbing code to tap into that stream. Over in the code, to show how to make use of the value changes method, I'm going to toggle the display of a welcome back message if the customer's name matches a repeat customer. So in this order sheet component class, I'm going to add a property to the class with a name of show welcome message and set it to an initial value of false. And then down in the build form method, after the setup of the order sheet form property, I need to get a handle to the control I want to wire up for changes to, the customer name control. I can create a local variable to hold a reference to the control. So let customer name control equal to a call to this dot order sheet form dot find with the string customer name and the type assertion as control. So this gives me the control object, which has the value changes property on it. From here, I can call subscribe off of value changes because it's an observable. Here I can give this a function and for its parameters, I can specify that it will receive a value. So I'll name that parameter value. Now this will be the current value of the control. In the case of this customer name control, it will be the updated string value based on what the user is typing in. And in the body of this function passed to the subscribe method, I can set this dot show welcome message equal to a check to see if value with some normalization to lowercase it and trim it and check if it's equal to just an S. Now this would end up being where you would put some sort of service call to check the data. But since that is outside the scope of this course, this inline check will be enough to illustrate the usage of value changes here. Now this observable that value changes holds is a cold observable. The call to subscribe doesn't cause a response. So all I did here was prepare some code to handle any push changes from the control. From here I can make use of that show welcome message in the template to give the user some visual feedback. So over in the CSS file for the order sheet component, the project already has a class rule for a welcome dash back class. So I will use that class on a DOM element in the template. So in the order sheet component HTML file, below the input for the customer name, I'll add a div element with the class welcome back, and I'll put an ng if on there, setting that equal to the statement show welcome message. And I think I'll have this message text echo out the user's name. So to do that, I can create a template reference variable on the text input using the hash and a variable name, let's call it customer name, and set that equal to ng form. Then in the div element, I can add welcome back as my text, and an interpolation statement of double curly braces with customer name dot value in it. Okay, that was a handful. All right, I'll hop over to the browser, and if I type in the matching name, the welcome message shows. And as soon as I add a character that causes it not to match, it hides. So there are a ton of things you can accomplish via the use of subscribing to the value changes property on a control. And Angular handles all of the plumbing for you so you don't need to deal with pulling the DOM or any of that other mess. And you can just get right to building features.